The 2015 Stony Brook home opener pits the Seawolves against old NEC foe, the Blue Devils of Central Connecticut State. Let's go to the highlights brought to you by Simplex Grinnell. The Blue Devils would start with possession and just four plays in, quarterback Jacob Dolagala will fire across the middle looking for Xavier Jenkins. But it's Dan Hebert who ends up with the ricochet behind the defense and he will take it 51 yards to open up the scoring. A missed PAT would keep the score 6 to nothing, Central Connecticut State. On the ensuing drive, Stony Brook's 1,000-yard rusher from last year, Stacy Bedell, will take the very first play 30 yards into CCSU territory. Nine plays later, Bedell will loop around the left side to find pay dirt, opening up the scoring for Stony Brook. Giving the Seawolves a lead they would never relinquish. Stony Brook's defense will right the ship on the next possession, forcing a quick three and out, and would continue to play in the Blue Devils' backfield all night. After trading possessions and a Premshaw Popek field goal, it's Stacy Bedell once again finding the end zone, extending the Seawolves lead to 11. The first possession of the second half would feature Bedell and freshman Isaiah White in an 11 play, 57 yard drive, setting up some misdirection with redshirt freshman quarterback Joe Carbone to sneak into the end zone for his first career score. Another quick three and out would give Stony Brook the ball back, and on third and seven, Carbone finds Donovan Washington on a crossing pattern to pick up the first and more, a 22-yard gain. This would set up none other than Bedell, who will break away from the defense for his first career three-touchdown game and a 31-6 Seawolves lead. In the fourth quarter, it's Isaiah White toting the rock, adding on to an impressive debut which would result in 103 yards for White and give Stony Brook two 100-yard rushers for the first time since September 2014 against AIC. This would lead to a red zone attempt where Carbone rolls to his left and he'll decide to take it in himself for his second rushing TD of the night and close the scoring at 38-9. Stony Brook dominated in the stat sheet, totaling 475 yards on offense while only allowing 120 to the Blue Devils. The Seawolves host CAA opponent New Hampshire next Saturday at Laval Stadium starting at 7 p.m.